Summer is upon us and with the warmer weather means more chances of being exposed to the sun's damaging rays. By now you know that ultraviolet radiation from the sun is the main cause of skin cancer, which is actually the most common cancer here in the United States with more than 2 million people diagnosed annually. So what can you do to protect yourself? A good start is using sunscreen. But if you're like me, a trip to the store to purchase some can leave you feeling overwhelmed and confused. Good thing Eastern Virginia Medical School has skin cancer experts to help us figure it all out. I'm here with Dr. Brian Carroll. He's assistant professor and director of dermatologic surgery here at EVMS. How are you today, Dr. Carroll? Wonderful, thank you for having me. Great, well we are gonna dive right in and we're gonna keep it real simple, start back at the basics. What is SPF? SPF is the sun protective factor, which rates the amount of protection that your skin gets from a sunscreen. A higher number would be better. The American Academy of Dermatology recommends a number of 30 or higher to give your skin the best protection that you can get. Now, when you go to the store, you see anywhere from SPF 2 all the way up into the hundreds. Mm -hmm. Is there a difference between that? Should we be spending the more money to get the higher SPFs? When appropriately applied, the difference between an SPF 30 and an SPF 100 is lost because you sweat it off before it makes a difference. But most people don't put on enough sunscreen, so an SPF of a higher number can be better than SPF 30 if people are putting on less than what's recommended. When I go to the store, I see broad spectrum. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Broad spectrum is one of the new FDA labeling requirements that shows that the sunscreen is blocking both UVA and UVB. Both types of those ultraviolet radiation will increase your risk of aging and skin cancer, and you want one that blocks both. Previously, you would have sunscreens that would block only UVA and only UVB, and it did not give you a complete protection. Oh, okay, so you want a sunscreen that says broad, broad spectrum. spectrum. Sprays versus lotions, I've seen both as well. Which is better? Whatever you like on your skin. The best sunscreen is the one that you apply. Is there a uh, certain time that's best to apply sunscreen? About 15 minutes before you go outside is best. How often should we be reapplying? If you're outside, you should be reapplying every two hours. If you're in the pool, you should reapply when you get out of the pool and you're toweling off. I know that I've uh, been a victim of this before. Expired sunscreen. What are the rules about uh, old sunscreens? Sunscreens can lose their ability to protect you if they've been left in the car and been heated up a lot or if they've expired. Uh, when you squirt it out, if it looks like it's separated, it's not going to work as well as when you first bought it. Now, um, for those that think they may have been exposed to the sun's damaging rays and uh, they think they might have skin cancer, what can they look for? Self-skin exams are very important for patients who are concerned about skin cancer. And they're going to look for a spot that doesn't look like their other spots. If they notice something that they didn't think was there before, it's good for them to take a picture, wait a month, compare it to the picture. If it's changing, you should call a dermatologist. All right, Dr. Carroll, any last advice before we send the folks out into the sun? Yep, if it's bright outside and you're reaching for your sunglasses, reach for your hat and your sunscreen. Great, great advice. Thank you so much. Thank you. For more on uh, skin cancer, visit evms.edu slash skin cancer.